So one of, one of the unintended consequences of uh, rapid deregulation was that obviously the established sector understood the benefits of uh, being regulated, so basically they understood the sector. Many of them were quite confused with what deregulation would mean because they had lost a very close relationship with government and to make it worse a new government had come in with new faces. But I think the real tragedy is the fact that the previous uh, regulated system created an opportunity for government to engage with farmers in terms of managing market access. So whether it was a pricing mechanism or a supply or you know, support system uh, to the farmers, uh, that, that was in place. So we deregulated at a time when we're trying to bring in black farmers. And through the BATAT process, the Broadening Access to Agriculture Thrust, market access was a critical component of that uh, development and, and mainstreaming black people into the agricultural economy. So I think, personally, I believe that if we had uh, paused to think about what deregulation could mean for transforming the agricultural sector, we would have done much better at uh, facilitating access and access to quality support services for black farmers in those days. Yes, I really am very optimistic about agriculture. I mean, the sector has its role in our economy and it has a space to transform and become a really diversified and competitive sector. And I always think back to the lost ground between when we had developed a shared vision of unity and prosperity for all of agriculture. And somehow I believe that if we could go back to focusing on that, and I'm talking about leadership both in government and in the uh, sector, you know, the industry, to just recalibrate what is most important to build a sector that is united and prosperous. And I think in that way there will be growth in the sector in ways that we probably had never imagined.